A central theme to the novel A Song for Nagasaki by Paul Glynn is overcoming tragedy. Glynn writes about the life of Takeshi Nagai, a Japanese radiologist who lived through the bombing of Nagasaki, Japan. The book follows his life and spiritual journey from childhood until his death, exploring the theme of overcoming tragedy through God's providence. Nagai was raised by his mother and father, who worked as doctors in the countryside. Due to his upbringing, family relatives having a background in medicine, and his education at a boarding school, Nagai decided to pursue a career in medicine. Glynn's book chronicles Nagai's marriage, professional career, and the years leading up to his death. Although he experienced many triumphs in his life, such as becoming the valedictorian at his school and creating a family, Nagai faced many tragedies as well. His responses to those challenges highlight both his humanity and his respectable character as he travels on his spiritual journey. Nagai grapples with an internal conflict between reason and faith. As a scientist, he had based his entire existence on concrete science and tangible evidence. However, as he learns, some aspects of life cannot be explained by experiments and data. This clash existed because he was raised in the rural area of Miyota according to the teachings of Confucius and the Shinto religion which filled him with reverence for his ancestors and heroic stoicism. His mother and father taught him a love of learning by their example and their generous giving by their care for the medical needs of the peasants and townspeople, often without pain. The first tragedy that he experiences is his mother's death. Nagai rushed home from school when he had heard that his mother had suffered from a stroke. He was able to see her in her final minutes. Though she could not speak, they shared an emotional goodbye. The guy was there holding her hand when she passed away, and her passing affected him deeply. All he wanted to do was talk to the woman who had helped him sh shape into the man that he had become. In comfort, his father said, Your mother takes leave in death, but her living spirit will be beside her little one, Takashi. This immediately made Nagai believe in spirits, which he had once believed did not exist. He was brought to, to internal questioning between the difference of being scientific and believing in faith, thinking that the two were oil and water. He turned to Pascal's Pensies for solace, opening his eyes to a new way of thinking, apart from science. Pascal's philosophical teachings were difficult for Nagai to understand because they contrasted the Eastern way of thinking that he was accustomed to. Glenn says that Nagai believed wholeheartedly in science and reason, but Pascal introduced him to the concept that human reason does not always hold all of life's answers. Nagai was troubled by this, and even more so by the idea of God. How could he turn to God if he was not even sure that God existed? His mother's death is a turning point in a guy's life, marking the beginning of his lifelong spiritual journey. The day after the birth of his first daughter, Ikuko, the war between Japan and China broke out with no declaration. Takashi was mobilized as a surgeon in the service. He battled in the winter of China and also battled with the distress from all the victims of the war, Chinese and Japanese caring for the wounded and thinking about justice and peace. He received news of the death of his father and that of his daughter Ikuko by mail. On his return, he continued his studies at the college. The night Nagai's final exams finished, he celebrated with a night of intoxication and Nagai suddenly loses his hearing due to meningitis. He has to stay in the hospital and cannot give his graduation address. It is at this time he comes to terms with his humanity. Lying in the hospital bed, feeling physically and mentally exhausted, he wonders what is the meaning of life. This question continues to pop up in the back of his mind from time to time. He agonized over the incident. How could this terrible loss occur right after he finished his schooling? Another battle that Nagai had to face was being diagnosed with leukemia. He lies in his bed and asks God why he's, put, he's putting him through all this. He has a wife, kids, and feels that God is trying to take him before his time. He goes on to say that he knows we all have, to cro have a cross to carry. However, he feels his cross is uh, too much for him. But God used this situation to show Nagai that he has a bigger plan. And even though it may not always look the way we want it to, it always comes together in the end. In 1945, Nagasaki was bombed after Hiroshima, riling a different reaction. Instead of anger and shock that people held from the Hiroshima bombing, the Nagasaki bombing was devastating. 
Flynn says three times that 8,000 Christians died in the Nagasaki bombing before mentioning, pages later, that 72,000 Japanese died. On May 1, 1951, Nagai passed away. His death was already a surprise because he had lived past what was expected for someone fighting cancer. 20,000 mourners at his funeral remembered a man who dedicated his life to saving others. He was buried beside his wife, Midori, and had the Gospels of Luke, chapter 17, verse 10, etched on his gravestone. He inspired a great multitude of people from his hospital bed with his visitors, like Helen Keller before him, and this is where he accomplished most of his writings. In the epilogue, Glenn says, each of us must experience pain and tragedy, including the ultimate tragedy, death, and maybe a violent one at that. If we have Nagai's kind of faith in the Father's providence and in Christ's all-embracing death, we can meet anything with peace. Every human life is touched by hardship at some point in one's life. When that time comes, everyone has a choice as to how they will cope. Some people turn to drugs or alcohol, some to family members, and others hold the grief inside. Everyone is different and must decide how to fight their own battles. For Nagai, he uses his relationships and faith to guide him out of the dark times and into the light. War influences Nagai's life. He first fought as a soldier in, from 1933 to 1944 in Manchuria and then served as a surgeon in the Sino-Japanese War many years later. There's a difference in how Nagai copes with the horrors of war between his first and second experiences. Because of his con conversion, he is able to see the wounded soldiers through a different lens. Although it is devastating to see men dying or losing their limbs, Nagai learns to look to the Bible to com for comfort in the, this uh, troubling time. In fact, he carries around a pocket-sized version of the New Testament to read for souls, and he writes, a, writes in his journal throughout the war. Surprisingly, he in, his entries are positive, reflecting on the strengths of his fellow men. His fellow men. If he had not known God, the guy would probably feel disheartened by the work he is doing and may have turned to alcohol or some other vice for an escape. Instead, he chooses to use his faith as a way to look at the world in a different way and is happier as a result. There are many other instances in Nagai's life in which God plays an important role in his perspective of various tragedies. Specifically, when he is diagnosed with leukemia, the first thing he does is pray. Glenn writes, Now alone, he took off the mask of senior doctor and began to tremble. He turned to prayer. It is evident that the power of prayer should not be underestimated. Simply having a conversation with God allowed Nagai to feel less alone in his troubles. Even if he did not have Midori and his children to provide support, Nagai would still have God. After receiving the grim news and praying, Nagai begins to worry about how Midori will react. To his surprise, she does not blame him for bringing it upon himself by the nature of his profession as a radiologist, but instead acknowledges that he worked for the glory of God. Her acceptance of the path that he has chosen, despite its consequences, is, fr is freeing, he says. Love plays a huge role in that. Perhaps the largest tragedy that occurs in Nagai's life is centered around the bombing of Nagasaki in August 1945. Glynn gives a description of the devastation caused by the A-bomb that is appalling. It seems like an event out of a science fiction movie. Sadly, it's reality. Thousands of people died and the city of Nagasaki and the surrounding towns were destroyed. Among the dead was Midori, Nagai's wife. Strong, selfless Nagai surrenders himself to helping others throughout this period of recovery in the bomb's aftermath. We studied the book of Job in class this semester, focusing on its central message, how to handle adversity. The lessons in this book can be applied to the tragedies in A Song for Nagasaki. Job is attacked by Satan and left with nothing, but he does not lose faith in God. God is testing Job's faithfulness during a time of suffering. The guy is much like Job because he loses his faith in his family, yet he does not curse God. He remains faithful and trusts that his faith will lead him through the grief and sickness. The guy is faith that God has a plan and whatever happens to him is for the greater good. This idea is known as God's providence.
The theme of tragedy goes hand in hand with the theme of God's providence. By definition, providence is God working creation to act accordingly to his will. Judeo-Christianity teaches that God has a plan for all of his creation. He had a plan for Nagai. Sometimes, even when the most horrible things happen, there can ultimately be a positive outcome. For example, if Nagai's mother had not died, then he may have never been spurred to the discovery of God. This discovery of God led him to positively impact the lives of so many more people and bring them together. Of all the tragic things that happened in his life, and of the hardships that he faced when stepping back to look at the big picture, it is important to remember that everything happens for a reason, and even the most grim circumstances have a light at the end of the tunnel, even if it may not be obvious. Takashi Nagai's story is relatable to many aspects of the human struggle, which is why a song for Nagasaki is such a applauded book. We still draw, we can still draw parallels from Nagai's life to our own lives today and can learn from his actions. The Mosaic generation can connect with Nagai's timeless questions, struggles, and ideology because they mirror any person's doubt towards faith. Facing problems and bumps in the road is a part of being human. Nagai never rejects science, continues to see automatic or atomic discovery as potentially good, providing peaceful energy for all poor, all poor Japan, and retains deep love for the imp emperor and for his non-Christian. This book can inspire both Christians and non-Christians to work for peace. Life is a combination of high and low points and everything in between. It is not a question of whether or not we will be challenged. It is a question of how we will handle the situations that may come. Nagai could have been vengeful and full of hate, but he used his final days to spread love and faith. This is much more than a simple biography, needless to say. Because we're following Nagai's spiritual journey, we are invited to look deeper within ourselves and journey also. This book is both fascinating and inspirational, and especially now, we can learn a lot from Takashi Nagai about how to deal personally with tragedy. One of the most comforting aspects of this book that I found to be true for myself is that Nagai came from a collectivist culture and his hardworking family background was similar to mine. The writing is so openly honest and sincere in a non-preachy way that it made me less apprehensive to what he was writing about. It made me think about how being scientific and religious is not polar opposites, about how many doctors, including my own sister, are very religious. Following the guy's journey makes me want to continue my spiritual journey and I hope to be impactful to a community as the guy was. The number one message I got from reading this is God is, has a bigger plan. Regardless from what I see or how I'm feeling, the guy being able to see, to be able to go through so much from his mother's death and the bombing and his own pers personal struggles, he is still finding a way to trust and believe that God has him. That is so empowering to me. Reading this, I said to myself, if Nagai can trust in God through his situation, then surely I can trust God through mine. I strongly believe that God doesn't give us more than we can bear, and that comforts me knowing that through my adversity, God already had me as a victor in the end. The biggest takeaway that I get from Nagai's story is the peace of mind that can come from putting one's complete trust in God. Whenever he faced a struggle, Nagai asked God for help. God does not give us perfect lives, but he does give us the tools to deal with what happens in our lives. I believe in providence and trust that God has a plan for all of creation. I may experience struggles in my life, but if I look for support from my faith, friends, and family, I will make it through. I think that, especially in the light of current circumstances, we can take away a lot from this story, from this project, and from the life of Dr. Patton. A big thing that this book and our discussions have focused on is turning a tragedy around. Both Dr. Patton and Takashi Nagai, until the very end, believe that everything that happens should be framed trusting God's plan and providence and always remembering that he is at work, even if we cannot always see it, inspiring people to be the best Christians we can be. Every person's work on this earth has an amazing domino effect, and sometimes we need a reminder to celebrate the good times instead of mourn the bad.